Daisy tells me that you're over in West Hack. Throwing your lot in with those social climbing primitive new money types. My little shack's just a cardboard box at 80 a month. Your life is adorable. I know somebody in West Air. I don't know a single person that side of the bay. Oh, you must know Gatsby. Gatsby? What Gatsby? The great Gatsby, that is. Moulin Rouge director Baz Luhrmann takes us back to the Roaring Twenties with his adaptation of the famous novel by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Leonardo DiCaprio plays the title character. Is all this made entirely from your own imagination? No. You see, you were there all along. And every idea, every decision, of course, if anything is not to your liking, I'll change it. It's perfect. What makes The Great Gatsby so great is everyone can identify with the dreamer in him, you know? Gatsby is one of those incredibly mysterious, iconic, you know, characters in American literature. It's almost mythic. Uh, having an ideal of who you want to become as an adult, and he manifests that into a reality. Leonardo's co-star and story protagonist is Spider-Man actor Tobey Maguire, who's been close friends with Leo for a very long time. To have done this movie with somebody that I really consider part of my family, that I've grown up with, not just as an actor, but as a youth. We met each other when we were 12 years old, <laughs> you know? And, and we watched each other sort of mature into men. I've seen him become a father and a, and a family man. And, more than anything, having a partnership in something as important as The Great Gatsby where, you know, performance-wise, we could always rely on each other to be honest with one another and, and push each other was, was a great feeling. We definitely have taken a, a picture or two, you know, along the way, just getting to share this experience together has been, has been uh, special, you know. We were a theater group. They were committed, they workshopped, we worked together. Leonardo and Toby were passionate collaborators from day one. Gatsby, he had a grand vision for his life since he was a boy. I'm gonna fix things just the way they were before. Just you and me. No amount of fire could challenge the fairy tale he had stored up in his heart. For me, as soon as I picked up the novel again as an adult and I started reading, um, Gatsby. I became fascinated by the dreamer, but also the tragedy of a man that ultimately was holding on to the past and holding on to a mirage of something that was no longer there. I've gotten all these things for her. I've gotten all these things for her. Now she just, she just wants to run away. <laughs> she even wants to leave that. Jay, you can't repeat the past. Can't repeat the past? No. Why, of course you can. Of course you can. The book has a phrase, gaudy primary colors. That's from the book. The world of gaudy primary colors. He's saying materialism, yes, and all of that dazzle, but at the end, you better have a point to your life. So it's okay to have great clothes and materialism, but it can't be the point. And that, by the way, isn't that where we are? The beautiful The Great Gatsby is in cinemas now. It had gone beyond her. It had gone beyond everything.